Okay, it's launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening. My name is Ian McCullough, and I am a sales manager here at SpaceX. Thanks for tuning in as we attempt our 180th overall SpaceX launch, set to lift off with 54 Starlink satellites from Florida's Space Launch Complex 40. If you've been following along with our launch schedule, you, you'll started. know that lightning and poor weather forced us to stand down from our four other launch attempts this week. The weather officer has once again held a briefing around T minus 40 minutes and indicated that weather is looking favorable for tonight's T minus zero. We're currently at only a 20% chance of violating launch criteria. It, looks, it does look like a beautiful night tonight at the Cape, so here's hoping we're able to lift off this evening. The teams are currently tracking no issues with Falcon 9 or the spacecraft, and the range is green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T minus zero of 8.18 p.m. Eastern time. With liftoff just three minutes and 45 seconds from now, we are standing by for TE retraction. We should be seeing, and we can see the clamp arms opening up now. Stage one lock flow complete. And at T minus three minutes, the Falcon 9 first stage is fully located, loaded with RP-1 and locks. And we're awaiting completion of locks load on the second stage in about T minus one minute from now. Keep listening in for stage two locks load completion. Stage two locks load complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Today marks SpaceX's 96th overall launch from Space Launch Complex 40, and as I mentioned er earlier, it's our 180th launch overall. Ground closeouts have started. The booster you see on your screen is flying for its sixth time today, previously having supported CRS-22, Crew 3, Turksat 5B, Crew 4, and CRS 25. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Just Read the Instructions, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Falcon 9 is in startup. Minus 30 seconds.
15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 4 34. Go Falcon 9. And we've had a successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Beautiful night here at the Falcon Space Coast. telemetry is nominal. XQ. Vehicle has passed through max Q, which is the point of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. We are about one minute to main engine cutoff, stage separation, Try to back, chill. and second engine startup. Keep an eye out for these events happening in quick succession. Main engine cutoff is where we will shut down all nine engines on the Falcon 9's first stage. Beautiful clear night out here on the west coast, on the east coast. Eco. Stage separation confirmed. Impact startup. Bearing separation confirmed. And there we had main engine cutoff one, stage separation, and second engine startup one, followed by fairing deploy. Today marks the third flight for one of these fairing halves and the fourth flight of another. We will attempt to recover both of the fairing halves again to use on a future, future launch. Beautiful night out here. On the right side of your screen, you can see stage two is accelerating into space, while the left side of your screen, stage one, the grid fins have deployed, and stage one is entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Acquisition of signal, Premier. Again, today's mission marks SpaceX's 180th overall launch and our 42nd launch this year. And this first stage booster has flown previous, several missions previously. Uh, CRS-22, Crew-3, Turksat-5B, Crew-4, and CRS-25.
Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in rural and remote locations around the globe. On the left side of the screen, you can see some small attitude adjustments being made from the gas that's being blown out the side. In about 30 seconds, we'll have stage one entry burn startup. This is a three engine burn that will continue as the stage, stage one enters in the atmosphere and slows it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage, is, stage one has ignited its engines and is slowing down. It's a 20 second burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. We had a successful shutdown. Stage one will now coast through the atmosphere until landing burn out of the Atlantic Ocean on our and land on our drone ship, target landing on our Stage drone ship. Stage 2, FTS has saved. Just read the instructions. On the left side of the screen, you can see that Stage 1 is slowing down very quickly. Stage one transonic. You hear that state first stage is transonic. This means that it's traveling near the speed of sound. Thermal guidance. I'll look out here for just in just a few moments for a landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Stage one has lit its one engine to prepare for our landing on drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage one landing leg deploy. Tico. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has landed, marking the 135th Nominal landing orbit insertion. of a fir Falcon 9 first stage and the 42nd launch of 2022. As you may have heard shortly after signal, landing burn start, we had a successful engine cutoff. Stage 2 is now carrying its 54 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And we also had a confirmation of good orbit. With confirmation of the first stage landing Wait, and... And successful engine cutoff will wrap up today's launch coverage. If you're interested in following along, we have our nets live on YouTube, and be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks for joining us this evening, and we'll see you again soon.